Uh, you want all the bugs, me? Bed bugs and Nookie. Everyone knows that bed bugs are bad juju. They feed on your blood, they leave whelps, they leave a mess, they stink, they prevent you from sleeping, they invade your happy place, and they can affect your, uh, well, um, uh, your fun time. When it's hard enough to find a night without a headache, now we have bed bugs. Your bed is supposed to be your happy place, your oasis from this crazy world. Our bodies need sleep. The Sleep Foundation said that these things prevent us from receiving enough sleep. Work schedules, day-to-day -day stressors, medical conditions, and a disruptive bedroom environment. Without the full REM sleep, you won't be refreshed, alert, or thinking clearly. You will be more susceptible to disease, and sleep deprivation leaves people vulnerable to attention lapses, reduced cognition, delayed reactions, and mood shifts. If you don't feel right, you aren't going to feel like engaging in uh, <coughs> monkey business. Not to mention the thought of disrobing and allowing bed bugs to access more uh, <coughs> sensitive areas doesn't really exactly excite the libido. Aww. The stress of knowing something is biting you along with the embarrassment of them is a potential cost that can push your blood, blood pressure to the ceiling. Uh, this is not the best environment for uh, putting your bread in the oven. So the first thing many want to do is replace the bed because it repulses them. So, uh, But that's not going to fix it because they can hide in other places besides the bed. Also, avoid spraying anything on your bed. That's where you sleep. You drool. You fart. You hopefully eventually... Uh, do a little spring testing. Bed bugs' lives are also upset by their own presence. There is no wooing Mrs. Bedbug with some well placed mating dance and little Marvin Gaye on the transistor radio. Nope. No refined lovemaking for the bed bug. They engage in traumatic insemination. This copulation method finds the male piercing the female's abdominal wall with his external genitalia and inseminates into her body cavity rather than uh, <clears throat> the traditional location. In no uncertain terms, he makes a new hole in her abdomen. Now, that's, it's more complicated than that, but I'll spare you the details. To make matters worse, that wound will now scar over uh, and be reopened with subsequent visits. If that doesn't creep you out enough, bed bugs are polyandrous, which means they have multiple <clears throat> friends, and their f friends uh, transfer proteins uh, within the ejaculate that act to disable and kill the sperm of the rival, f <laughs> the rival males. Uh, just survival of the fittest. Uh, let's just make it a little worse uh, before the end of this video. The males even use the act of traumatic insemination on other males sometimes. Uh, the bug geeks studying this propose that it's to further make sure that their breed, and only their breed, uh, stay in all those ovens. Not even some candles, soft music, and a back rub will overcome all of this mess. Yes, you want to know what bugs me? Bed bugs, these little perverted deviant devils. That's why I love to kill them.